Hi, my name is Shandell Ulmer. I am a student physical therapist assistant at Jeff State. And today our patient comes in after a week onset of right aches in the lumbar region of the spine and uh, lower back pain, as well as shooting pains down his right posterior thigh. He was diagnosed with an L5-S1 herniated disc. And also five and 10 years ago, he had bilateral knee medial mis meniscectomies. Um, his symptoms worsen sitting longer than five minutes as well as when he has forward bending due to the posterior bulging disc. With the pathology of uh, herniated nucleus pulposus, all the fluid mo moves toward the posterior portion of the spine when bending forward, making this position very painful. It was also found that the patient has a shorter hamstring passive range of motion on the right side only being 25 degrees as opposed to the left side being 40 degrees. So the first thing that we're going to do today is some soft tissue mobilization using the longitudinal uh, soft tissue and this will hopefully lengthen the muscle as well as help with gaining mobility and decreasing the pull of the hamstring on the pelvis which inherently affects the lower back. Um, this technique will be used because of the objective data that he does have a 25 degree passive range of motion on the right as opposed to 40 degrees passive range of motion on the left. Hi, how are we doing today, sir? Doing good. Good. My name is Shandell Ulmer. I am a student physical therapist assistant at Jeff State I, and I'm going to be working with you today. So what we're going to be doing is called soft tissue mobilization and what that means is it's kind of like a massage, but it has more purpose than a massage does. So we are going to be working on your hamstrings, which are on the back side of your leg, on your right side, because that's the one we have problems with, right? Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. the first thing that I'm gonna ask is, is it okay if I roll up your shorts leg to about the level of your hip? I'm gonna make sure you're covered the whole time. Sure. Okay, awesome. Do you need a sheet to cover up with? Yeah. Are you cold at all? I'm good. Okay, awesome. So you want to make sure that your patient is properly covered and draped, only exposing the area necessary for therapy. And making sure that they are properly covered. Now this might be a little cold, okay? And you just want to get enough lotion or massage uh, lotion on you so that you can go over the whole area. And you're just going to start doing your longitudinal soft tissue mobilization. Now, since this is a bigger muscle group, you want to make sure that you don't just have a pinpointed pressure with just your thumb, but you want to use the whole side of your hand. You can use your two thumbs going up the whole way, or you can use your knuckles, or even you can get down and use your whole forearm. making sure that you as the SPTA, PTA, or PT maintains proper body mechanics for yourself. How did that feel, sir? Felt good. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and roll it down. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and I want you to get off the bed and put on your shoes using proper body mechanics to get your shoes and put them where you need to, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, okay awesome. Good, keeping that back straight. That's what we want. Thank you. How are your knees feeling? A little sore. A little sore, okay. With that lifting? Yes. Okay. You can go right over there and I will be with you shortly. So in the second part of the treatment plan, um, it was discovered that the patient had begun using his spine when he went to lift objects so he would bend from his spine instead of using his knees because he was trying to protect his bilateral meniscectomies that he had had. So what we are teaching him today as part of our education is a different lifting technique so that he can still use proper body mechanics while guarding both his knees. So we will get the box and put it in front of us and it's somewhat like a lunge what we're teaching him 
and there he will be taught that he wants to take a little farther step than he normally does lower down to the floor and making sure to keep his back straight slightly bend pull the load close to you keeping your arms close in and then raising up continuing to use that flat back and this is important so that he can both save his back and his knees when he's doing this so it's just a slightly different way to pick up heavier objects. Okay, so you can come over here, sir. We're gonna do our next uh, exercise. So lunges are a good functional exercise for this patient, especially when trying to utilize this lifting technique that we just taught him. So what we're going to be doing today is just a simple lunge. You've probably seen them before, but we're going to kind of talk about what we should do during them and all that good stuff. So basically, I will demonstrate and then I'll see what you've got. Okay? Alright. Okay, so first, we're going to take a slightly bigger step than we normally do. We're going to slowly lower down to the floor, not having our knee touch the floor though. And then we're going to come right back up. And it'll be a much quicker motion than that because you just want to be down for a second come back up and meet the forward foot. Now you're gonna wanna do this, um, make sure that you have your body in proper alignment, your back straight, you're not bending over, and if you need a little more help, then you can use your hands to lower down and to come back up, but making sure that your legs are doing most of the work. Um, and you wanna do these five times on each leg for two sets and you want to do them twice a day, okay? And also if you need a little bit more help, instead of going all the way down to almost to the floor, you don't have to go down nearly as far, okay? Any questions before you start? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So let me see what you've got. Here we go. And the next one, yep. And functionally, when we're going across the room, you'll just be able to go straight. But mm -hmm. that looked good. Your form looked good. Any questions? No questions. Okay, awesome. Well, they will get you up at the front. Thank you so much for letting me work with you today. Thank you. Okay. okay. The patient also shows a decrease in mobility for passive uh, right posterior depression with PNF and has symptoms ascending stairs. So this modifies both of these activities, allowing for flexion and extension in the pattern, much like ascending stairs. That, and uh, the patient needs to make sure that he breathes in as he goes down into the lunge and breathes out as he goes up. After the reevaluation, it was found that his pain had centralized more, meaning that he is making a lot of improvement um, and he has good rehab potential as noted in the PT evaluation. He met and exceeded both of his short-term goals for the first evaluation. The patient will be able to return to his normal level of functioning if he continues to exhibit correct posture and body mechanics and continues his exercise program. However, if he starts to not exhibit as good body mechanics, he might see an increase in pain or low levels of pain, but correcting these will help correct that issue. Um, he needs to utilize these proper body mechanics as well as the new lifting technique we used him when he goes back to work and he should be able to resume his normal activities. Thank you so much for letting me talk to you today and have a good day.